So the first numbers we're going to look at is the surface temperature map. Because that's one of the first things that meteorologists look at is go, what is the temperature of that area? And as they're doing it, they're actually playing an amazing game of dot to dot. And now they can use computers to do it, but we're going to do it kind of the old fashioned way, just so you can kind of get a feel for what's going on. So when they're measuring the surface temperatures, when they're looking at it, they're going to be connecting the dots with lines. And these lines have a very special name. These lines are called isotherms. You can write isotherms at the top of your page too. So isotherms are the name of the lines that they connect areas of equal temperature. I'll just abbreviate that. So anywhere that has the same temperature, that's what the meteorologist is going to connect with the dots. So for example, let's see, why don't we start with 40? So I'm going to start, there's a 40 up here in Seattle. Okay, well let's see where else is there a 40. Well, that's a 50, and that's a 30, 50 and 30. Well, I know if I'm going to count between 50 and 30, there has to be a 40 in between. So we're going to go from Seattle all the way down here to Tahoe. So we are going to start connecting these dots. That's a 40. Oh, there's a 40 down there in Los Angeles. And these lines are just going to kind of curve around. Let's see, now i got a 40 in southern Arizona. And let's see, so Arizona, oh, middle of Texas. Now where do I go? Oh, looks like I go straight through Missouri and all the way across. So let's do that. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. All right. And that is the isotherm that shows a region that's everything along that line is 40 degrees. Roughly. And it's, it's kind of, they're just kind of looking for trends and going, all right, I guess it's all within that same region. So those are all 40s. So now let's look for the next, let's go lower. Let's go for 30s. Okay, so I see 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, and I'm kind of drawing these lines kind of going off to the end because we don't know what's happening in Canada off to the end. We, we're not quite sure, but we do know that those 30s are going to continue somewhere around the globe. The globe is a sphere. And then in the Midwest, now I see these 20s. But these 20s, we're going to actually draw a nice little circle here. Because that's showing that that whole region right there, that's an area of cold air, of cold temperature. So we're going to connect those dots up. We're going to presume that all of those are 20. Oh, but wait, there's this like random 25 here in the middle of Kansas. So that 25, we'll have to know. We can make our own line for that. Because we know that everything between the 30 line and the 25, there ha 20 line, there has to be a 25 in there. So I'm going to connect those. Make it, I'm pretty much making it up, making that 25 connect all the way out. I'm writing the numbers on the end of the line just so I can remember what they are. And so that's what we're doing as a meteorologist. So I'm going to watch for part two while we do the warm temperatures.